Hello there, my name is Keelan. I'm with the Visuals by Impulse Client Success Team, and today I'm here to show you how to edit the brand new package that you just purchased. First off, you want to start replacing the brand new package onto your desktop and extracting it into a folder, just like I've done here. This is what your package is going to look like once you've extracted it. Let's head to the PSDs folder and start opening the files. Once you've got the PSD files open, let's go ahead and start editing. I'm going to start with a headers.psd file. First off, I'm going to add in my username. You'll see we have a username layer right here. Let's double click the T and add in our username. I'm going to use VBI for now. You may notice that your username might not be centered. Let's press Control T and make sure this little middle part is within the blue guideline. Now let's go ahead and start editing your screen's PSD folder. Now you may notice you might need to edit your social media information again. Let's quickly combat that. Head to your header.psd file. Click on the social media folder. Press Control C on Windows or Command C on Mac. Let's head back to your screen's PSD file. Now you may notice there isn't a folder this time. There's a smart layer. Let's double click this little symbol and it's going to take us to a separate PSD file. Let's press Control V or Command V. And let's go ahead and delete the other folder by clicking on SM and pressing the delete key. Once done, click File. Head to Save. It's going to do its thing. Let's X out of this. And you'll notice that the screen's PSD folder is edited. Now it's not off to the left just as the other one was. Let's quickly click on SM1, press Ctrl T, hold Shift and drag it over. Now let's start saving out. Let's hit the file, export, quick export as a PNG. Let's go ahead and head to the screens folder, static, and starting. Now some of you may be wondering how you're going to get your social media information onto your animated screens. Quickly turn off the title folder. Let's hit the file, export, quick export as a PNG. Let's head back to screens and head to the animated folder. I'm going to quickly name this file socials.png. Save it out. And you'll be able to place that on top of the animated files inside your streaming software. Now let's go ahead and head over to the profile picture.psd file. And then here you're going to add your username. And you can use this as your profile picture on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, or any other platforms you may use. Let's click on the username layer. Double click the T. And enter in your username. Once again to center, press Ctrl T. Hold shift and drag it into the middle of the guidelines. Press enter and boom, we've got our username done. Let's head to file, export, quick export as a PNG. Let's head to Solstice, profile art, and let's double click on C and save over. Now you may be wondering how you get to the square. Pretty simple. Let's right click on the circle, click the sable layer mask. Once again, then we're going to turn off the circle folder. Let's go to file, export. Quick export as a PNG, and we're going to save over the square. Now that's your profile art edited. Now that you've got the package all edited within Photoshop and ready to go for your streaming software, you may need further assistance on setting everything up. Head over to support.visualsbyimpulse.com, where we've got a range of articles to help you set everything up successfully. Let's head over to the technical section, and everything will be listed here. If you need any further assistance, feel free to reach out to us at the chat widget on the bottom right. Just simply enter in your question and we'll get back to you.